us start the first topic for this session. Now by now we have seen is how to compute cost of debentures. Now a debenture ex holder expects some return. He expects some return so that he gives you funds at the end. See, you're not the only organization asking funds from the public. There may be innumerable co companies in the market who want funds from the public. Similarly, think an investor, investor instead of giving the money to the companies and shirt can put in other various avenues as such. Like he can give to the money to the bank also. But why will he give you his money as an investment? He'll give you his money even if he expects the minimum return expectation is being met by you. So what do we see in cost as such, cost of capital? We see how to find out that expectations of an investor in the form of returns. And we know returns are always in percentage. So cost, whenever you calculate, you calculate in a percentage. So whenever you find any cost, be cost of debenture, preference, equity, returns will always be in percentage. So whatever answer you get, multiply by 100 at the end. We started with cost of debentures. And in debentures, you saw expectations of an investor right a return expected by a debenture holder so that he gives you money now we saw that cost of debenture was what what are the debenture holder gets he get interest payments every year and he gives you a principal amount so what was his return interest divided by principal you kept it simple right in case of debenture was at a premium of discount premium was added and discount was deducted so he had interest divided by net proceeds as debentures were after tax, you did 1 minus T at the end. So how did you got cost of debenture? Interest divided by principal or net proceeds after tax. Let's continue further. In this topic we will be covering is how do you compute cost of preference capital? Means how do you find out the return expected by a preference shareholder? Before finding out the return, let us make a concept clear what who is a preference shareholder. A preference shareholder gets certain preferential rights. Preferential rights in the form of payment of dividend. How does he get dividend? The two preferential rights he get. So when the payment is distributed in the form of dividends, he get the payment in dividend first before it is paid to an equity shareholder. Second preference he get is that time of termination of the company, the payment of him is made first before it is paid to the equity shareholder. So certain preferential treatment he enjoys being a preference shareholder. But preference shareholders do not get any voting rights. Now, because of that, now let us see how do we find out the return expected by a preference shareholder so that he gives you money tomorrow. Now, what does preference shareholder get? He gets as a dividend, right? So, preference shareholder gets as a dividend. But he gives you a certain amount of money as well. So, how will you find the cost of preference? Dividend divided by principal, right? Now, again, preference shares can be at a premium or discount. Premium means more than the face value. Discount means less than the face value. So, just to change the formula, but it will be dividend divided by net proceeds, right? Now, again, preference shares are also redeemable, irredeemable. Formula changes for them as well. But for you, in this semester, we're just covering the basics of financial management. So, you don't have to go into the redeemable preference shares. Just understand the concept of a simple preference share. How do you find out the return? So, how do you find the return of a cost of a preference shareholder? A return for a preference shareholder is dividend divided by principal or net proceeds. Keep it simple. So, let us do a small illustration to make it more clear. How do you find return for a preference shareholder? As you can see the illustration, XYZ Limited issues 20,000 8% preference shares of rupees 100 each. Cost of issue is 2 per share. Calculate the cost of preference shares if the shares are issued. First part is at par, second part is at a premium of 10% and last part is discount of 6%. Now keeping these things in mind, let us find out the return expected by a preference shareholder. Now we have to do it in three parts, we'll do one one part at a time. Let's start with the first part. Right? Now they're telling you 20,000 8% preference shares of 100 each. What do you mean by 20,000? 20,000 number of preference shares, total number of preference shares. 100 each means one share is 100 rupees. 8% is the rate of preference dividend. So keep it clear what all is given to you. Number of preference shares 8% being the rate and one share is 100 rupees. So how much will be the rate of dividend? 20,000 into 100 into 8%. So if you do 20,000 into 100 into 8%, how much do we get the dividend? We get as 1,60,000. So like fill in the blanks, dividend we already got is 1,60,000. Let us find the next part. What do we need in the next part is the principal amount. Now, how much money is being given by the preference shareholder? 20,000. 
Number of shares one share is hundred rupees. So twenty thousand into hundred and share, which gives you twenty lakh. Now. You see, in cost of issues like a flotation cost, certain expenses being incurred when you raise a preference share, right? So when you raise certain expenses, what is expense? Two per share. Now who will bear the expenses? Expenses will be borne by the investor. Company will pass on, and the returns will be reduced. So what will you do to the cost of issue expenses? Deduct it from the principal or net proceeds, like you did in our debentures. So how much is two per share? Twenty thousand number of shares. Twenty thousand into two gives you forty thousand. So you've got the one lakh sixty thousand dividend. You've got the principal amount. At the end, when you solve it up, you should get the cost of preference share as eight point one six percent. Don't forget to multiply by hundred at the end because preference shares cost be any cost returns are always in percentage. Now. This is how you find the cost. Now the answer and the calculation changes a bit if the preference share is issued at a premium or a discount. So premium is always added and discount is always deducted. Keeping that in mind, let us do the second part. If you issue this preference share at a premium of ten percent, premium of ten percent means what? More than the face value, right? So premium is always added, discount is always deducted. Dividend amount will remain the same. Twenty thousand eight percent preference shares of hundred each. So twenty thousand into hundred into eight percent will give you dividend of one lakh sixty thousand. Premium needs to be added. How much is the premium? Ten percent. Now, how much is total number of preference shares? Twenty thousand into hundred, which gives you twenty lakh, right? Twenty lakh. You add premium of ten percent. How much it is? Two lakh. So add up two lakh. Cost of issue has to be deducted again. How much is the cost of issue? Two per share. Number of shares are twenty thousand. So twenty thousand into two gives you forty thousand. Keep it simple. Two lakh. Add up the premium. Two lakh minus is the cost of issue. Add in when you solve it up, you get seven point four percent as the cost of preference. So preference shareholder expect a seven point four percent over here in share. Let us do the third part. Same preference share if you issue at a discount of six percent. What will happen? Now discount has to be deducted. Dividend amount will remain the same. How much is dividend? Twenty thousand into eight percent into hundred gives you how much? One lakh sixty thousand, right? How much is discount? Six percent. Six percent to twenty lakh will be how much? One lakh twenty thousand. So twenty lakh minus one lakh twenty thousand minus the cost of issue, right? Just keep your concepts clear. We'll get is the net proceeds. Multiply your answer at. By hundred because returns are always in percentage. You get as the cost of preference share how much eight point six nine percent. This is how you find out cost of preference. See, keep your concepts clear. Uh, we are not doing anything new. We are substituting according to the concept we are studying. Debenture was interest divided by principal on net proceeds. Preference share is dividend divided by principal on net proceeds because debenture holder gets interest and preference share holder gets dividend. So keep your concept. We just substitute the words here and there according to the context we are studying over here, and this is how you find cost of preference share capital, keeping in mind dividend which a preference share holder is getting and the money he is giving in the form of principal or net proceeds.